In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about vector, parametric, and symmetric equations of lines in R3. So in our previous lesson, we looked at vectors and parametric equations of lines in R2. We're now going to extend this to R3 and introduce a third form of an equation of a line, and that will be symmetric form. So when expressing a vector in R3, it's essentially the same. You have your vector r0 now, which is, consists of three coordinates now, not just the x0 and y0. You now have a third coordinate, z0. And your direction vector is now three dimensions, so therefore you have a third coordinate, in this case c. But the structure is exactly the same. Likewise with parametric form, if you're in r3, you now have a third coordinate, z0 plus t times c, in this case. Uh, moving on to our new form here, symmetric form, Essentially what you do to express something in symmetric form is um, in if you are in parametric form, for instance, you just isolate for t for each one of these. Notice if I isolate for t in equation 1, I'm going to get this equation. If I isolate for t in equation 2, I will get my y minus y0 divided by b. And if I isolate for t in equation 3 here, we also will get our z minus z0 divided by c. Since the t is obviously the same for all three of these, x, y, and z's, therefore you can equate these, and that would be your symmetric form. The only added condition you have is that the a, b, and c values must be non-zero, because we cannot divide by zero. So in R3, we're going to be looking at vector form, parametric form, and symmetric form. Let's look at some examples. For our first example here, we want to find the vector, parametric, and symmetric form of a line that passes through the following two points. Okay, well, um, to pass through the following two points, I need to find my direction vector. Therefore, the direction vector can be expressed as a, b, in which case we end up getting 4, negative 9, and 1. So our direction vector here, let's label this with a d, there's our direction vector here, is going to be 4, negative 9, and 1. To be in vector form here, you need a point and a direction vector. I can choose either point, the a or the b, so therefore my vector form of this equation will be, I'm going to choose point A, in which case we get negative 1, 5, and 7, plus some scalar multiple times our direction vector. And again, remember to put that t as any real number. Well, once I have it in vector form, it's fairly easy to put this in parametric form. To express this in parametric form, we have our x-coordinate is going to equal negative 1 plus 4t. Our y-coordinate will equal 5 minus 9t, and similarly, our z coordinate will be 7 plus t. Now let's take a look at symmetric form. Notice here for symmetric form, I've isolated for t for all three equations, and therefore equating these, we now have our symmetric form. Let's take a look at another example. In our next example here, we want to find symmetric form of an equation that's parallel to the x-axis and passes through the point 1, 4. So notice we're in R2 here. So if you do a quick little sketch here, we've got the point 1, 4. You know, maybe it's right about here. And the line that we want is parallel to the x-axis. So what I need here is I need to create a direction vector and a point. Well, I have a point. We obviously have the point. I have the point here, 1, 4. So the idea of symmetric form exists in R2 as well. It's not commonly done and expressed that way, but we can still write something in symmetric form if we are in R2 but I still need a point and a direction vector. Well, uh, the direction vector here, since it is parallel to the x-axis, this is my x-axis here. I know the x-axis has its own direction vector, and I could say it has a direction vector of 1, 0, for instance. So therefore, I can use this direction vector for my x-axis. So the equation that I want to create has a direction vector of 1, 0, and it has a point of 1, 4. Therefore, the parametric form of this equation would be x minus x naught over a must equal y minus y naught over b, where a and b are the coordinates of my direction vectors. Notice here we have an issue right away. My b value is 0. So because of that, the symmetric form does not exist here. If I go to sub these values in, notice we get x minus 1 over 1 equals y minus 4 over 0. And therefore, it is undefined and no symmetric equation exists. So for this question here, we want to find the vector and parametric equation of a line that's parallel to the z-axis and passes through the following point. 
notice in my lines parallel to the z-axis, we can use the same direction vector that exists on the z-axis, so in this case, 0, 0, 1. So therefore, we have a direction vector and a point, and therefore, the vector equation would be v equals 1, 2, 1, plus any scalar multiple of vector 0, 0, 1. Equivalently, we can write our parametric form as x equals 1 plus 0t, so x equals 1, y equals 2, also plus 0t, so the y value is 2, and lastly, z equals 1 plus t, where t is any real number. Okay, that concludes today's lesson on vector, parametric, and symmetric equations of lines in R3. Thank you.